Yeah, I'll give all details, man. Please wait. <coughs> right. Good morning, every, uh, good evening, everyone. Can you all hear me? Offline students, can you hear me? Okay. So, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. I am here to take core Java sessions for you. Okay. Uh, today, voice will be a little low. Okay. So, last two days, uh, three days, I suffered from fever. So, please try to adjust for today. Okay. Na? Tomorrow onwards will be all right. Right. So, now, offline, online students, please stop asking questions. By end of today's session, you will get all the details and you will get answers to all your questions. So first, try to focus on what questions I am asking. Try to answer to my questions. Okay, now I will give you answers to all your questions. Please try to focus on what I am explaining. Okay. So first, welcome to Naresha Technologies. Hope I no need to tell you anything about Naresha Technologies. Already people know well about uh, Naresha IT very well. So Naresha IT is providing. Uh, IT training on programming languages, providing training on databases, UI technologies, you know, uh, scripting languages, Python, and also what JavaScript, also giving, you know, training on databases, data science, machine learning. So whatever the, through whatever the course you want to get job in IT industry, Naresh ID is providing all the required training for you. And also Naresh ID providing 100% job guaranteed program, hope you already know. Right, that's a no. That is the story about Naresh ID, and Naresh ID providing uh, you know well experienced uh, trainers who are working in companies and who worked in the companies. So almost all every faculty training uh, in Naresh ID are working employees. So you will get knowledge from uh, Naresh ID faculties both from academic knowledge and also from IT for projects development knowledge. So that is the benefit of Naresh ID. Okay, then. Now, welcome to our course, Java 1. Tell me now, I want to ask question, why you choose Java? There are so many IT platforms are there. Java is there, databases are there, Python is there, .NET is there, right? Uh, why you PHP is there? There are different technologies are there in the market. Why you people have chosen Java? Come on, offline students expecting answer from you. Come on, why you choose in Java? Why you wish to learn Java? Why not other languages? Why only Java? Come on, come on, girls. Later you can write. Come on, later you can write. First answer to my question. Come on, come on. First focus on class. Why you have chosen Java to learn? Why you want job on Java? Why not some other field? Why you come to Java world? Give your answer. Don't don't feel that it is a classroom. I am a teacher. You are a student. Okay. Uh, don't feel nervous. It's your room. Okay. Free, feel freely to answer. And come on, come on. YouTube live students, you can also reply. I am seeing your comments. You can answer. Why? Come on, why? Why you are choosing Java? First, I was expecting answer from offline students. Hmm. The best answer is my brother suggested. Right, my sister suggested, or my friend suggested, or my father suggested. Some other people, yeah, in my academics, I have Java. Okay, I have to develop projects on Java in my college. That is the reason I choose in Java. Am I right? Okay. So whoever gave you suggestion for learning Java to you, give a big party to them. Okay, now they gave you the best suggestion to you. Learning Java is the mandatory for every IT engineer. Okay, if you want to come to development side and you want to have happy, peaceful life in the coming days in your IT industry, learning Java is very much, very, very, very much important and mandatory. Okay, some people say that Java is out from the market. Java is killed by Python. Java is killed by .NET. Java is killed by JavaScript. So many rumors are running in the market. Okay, Python taking number one position in, you know, IT industry. So many statements are there. So many rumors are there. Don't care them. Okay, now, 
if java is out from the market the first industry collapsed is banking system yes or no you you are daily experiencing right nowadays every online payments only you are doing anything you want to buy sell even food also you are buying online zomato swiggy right you are happily sitting in the home everything coming to your door delivery stuff right so that means what everything you are doing payment online upi bank application insurance you take any application everywhere bank application is involved then if java is killed the first industry collapse is what bank applications the bank applications are collapsed then where is industry where is society where is the uh, online applications everything is gone from the market so as a students you are in a doubt you are in a confusion is it a good to learn java or not or i have to learn python or i have to learn some other all people are saying that java gone java gone because java is always number one in the market in applications development everybody will will compare with whom now java only na everybody try to compete with whom now java only everybody create rumor around what java only is it right or wrong right uh, so that's why you remember there is a no way to kill java in the market next if you learn java what is the advantage if you learn some other language let's say python or some other language what is the problem i also i will explain in one minute if you learn java java is a 100% programming language 100% syntaxed programming language if you learn java you can easily shift from java programming language to any other language either python or dot net or you know react or node js any other language or any other tool or any other technology easily you can shift for example your company have a project now you got you learn java you got job in a company on java language interview happen on java but after one year or one and a half year or two years suddenly company got a project on python can you move from java to python easily very easily why because you know the full syntax right complete syntax of how to write a program full fledged 100% object oriented programming implementation you learned and api predefined library usage you learned then as a software engineer a 100% software engineer skilled skills you are getting by a java whereas if you learn python or if you learn some other language you know python is not a full fledged programming language python is a scripting scripting based programming language even if you attend demo classes demo in all demo classes of python people are comparing python with java and creating java is a toughest language python is a easy language java has to write three lines class who main method sop ln whereas python you write one statement printf i mean print one statement print you write see python how much easy java how much it tough that is a wrong comparison you know why wrong comparison java you are writing full fledged object oriented programming syntax whereas python you are writing only one statement that is scripting syntax how can i compare scripting language with python and you are comparing a cycle with a car how is it good you are comparing lkg student with a 10th class student look at here 10th class how much your tough subjects are there lkg just to you know abcd and how foolishness it is are you catching my point right so python is not a 100% syntaxed programming language it's mostly working on scripting language scripting language with syntax will not be there. directly what operation you want that statement we will write for example i'll show you simple okay i'll I, i'll show you one small program for you to understand java and python so that you will realize where people are misguiding the people and saying that java very tough python is easy a wrong rumor created by the people and torturing you all the students be careful this is java syntax class some example class name is what say uh, hello some class name i'm writing hello what you want to display hello you want to display i am writing like this this is called object oriented programming syntax is it clear guys so just in 5 to 10 minutes you must get full fledged clarity and one bad thought should remove from your mind python is easy java very tough okay python killing java market java jobs are not there this kind of bad thought i want to remove you from your mind that's what 5 to 10 minutes you have to spend uh, look at here this is java program okay this is what java program people are showing you in python demo classes or youtube videos or wherever you go 
people are comparing java python python with java because java is ruling the market that's why everyone compare see every, every any cricketer coming to the cricket field they are comparing with two people olden day sachin tendulkar now virat kohli why they are the rollers they are ruling the cricket industry right same here java is a roller uh, now if you choose python syntax you will surprise new uh, other go to python okay uh, one statement also not there. Why? See, Python is very easy, no? Easier. Huh? Three lines are there. How you students are, you know, manipulated, influenced, observe. Java, oh my God, three statements are there. Very really tough. Uh, look at their Python. No statement. Very easy. Then tell me, if you learn all the three statements, if you learn all three statements, then you know, you also know nothing, na? If you learn nothing, can you write three statements? Think from positive. Are you catching my point? You are a student, wanted to learn everything, or you wanted to escape from learning? You want to learn everything and want to survive in the company. You want to have a better life, peaceful life. Yes or no? So you want to have a peaceful life. You should learn everything. You don't want to be a student. Are you realizing? Like in colleges, in a, in a, in a learning stage, you know also when you are learning languages, if you are escaping from learning and you wanted to hide from learning, you wanted to you know uh, become lazy again like a college student, then how can you survive in your career? How can I get a good package? How can I get more package? How can I get job quickly? Yes or no? Right. If you learn three statements, then you can easily learn what? Nothing. If you learn nothing, how can you learn three statements? Is a statement valid or not? If you learn Java, coming from Java to Python is damn easy. If you learn Python, coming from Python to Java, very tough. Okay, let me tell another secret. All Python faculties are, once upon a time, they are Java faculties. Do you agree? It? It's true. Okay. Uh, all Python developers in company are old, uh, once upon a time, they are Java developers. There are no fresh Java Python trainers. There are no fresh Python, what do you call, uh, uh, developers. They are coming from their Java field only. Then why these Python faculties and Python trainers are telling that, oh, if Java very tough, uh, Python very easy. Because Python is what? Nothing. There is nothing, no statements are there as if that much, you know, that much heavy syntaxes are not there. Okay. Ah, now, if you learn complete syntax like our Python faculties, you can also easily survive in Python field. Are you following my point? So, now, what is my suggestion? Any of your Amir paid friends or any of your online friends or any of other online friends, anybody is saying that Java very tough, Python very easy. Ask you one question. Are LKG is easier, 10th class is easier. Then he will realize, huh? how can I compare LKG 10th class? Then slap. How can I compare Java and Python? Java is a different language, which is an object-oriented, full-fledged syntax programming language. Python is a script-based programming language. It's not 100% syntax. How can I compare, Rabbi? Are you following my point? Uh, uh, in Python, uh, you know, you will you can perform a big task in one line. Correct, eh? because it is a scripting language. It's a script-based programming language. Script-based programming language will be in one line will be there. How? Multiple lines will be there. Are you following my point? Right. Uh, Java is a fully programming language. It is an object-oriented, full-fledged object-oriented programming language. Then, you know, the actual correct comparison, if you want to compare Java and Python, now look at here. Now, here I am writing what Java program in which is syntax, object-oriented programming syntax. Then the same syntax you have to write wherein Python also fully object-oriented. Then ask them, tell them, now that is a easy, that is a tough. In object-oriented programming style, if you want to write, you have to write same as all the three statements you have to write. Are you following my point? The same, all three statements you have to write in Python also. Everyone understand uh? the same statement, but the syntax will be different. Here, open bracket place, what will come? Something called colon will come. Okay, now, and here, public static void, this place will come, what? Something called def will come. Are you following my point? And in place of this, colon will come. 
So system will not be there directly. Some printer will be there. Okay. Uh, now that's what we see later. So look at there. So the syntax and here syntax will be same. So if anybody say that Python is easy, Python killing Java, then tell them. Or if Python killing Java, first of all, answer my question. Java first or Python first? Who in which language invented first? Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Please. Java or Python? Uh, all the people are in a wrong impression. That's what I am saying. You are easily manipulated. Python was developed first. Java came later in the market. Okay, no? now understood. Her? If Python was already there, when Python was already there in the market, why Java invented? Is my question understand? Uh, now, why James Kosling invented Java again? And the Python cannot do something. That's why Java came. And uh, now it's the time you have to realize when to use Java, when to use Python. Okay, na? No, no. Come, why are we? When to use Java, when to use Python. Now, in industry, as a software engineer, I'm not just a trainer, I'm a software engineer. I know what is happening in the industry. As a software engineer, I am concluding one statement here. Okay. Welcome to Java world. Happily, you can step into Java world. Confidently, you can come to the Java world. Any of your friends are saying that. Can you please move the place by you? Hello. Move the place, please. You don't move. You'll be there. One more step. Yeah. So that you will not talk to each other and don't disturb the class. Okay. Right. Uh, now, try to answer my question. Now, happily, you can confidently come to the Java world. Why this five, five to 10 minutes time I, I have wait, I compare Java and Python. My intention is not telling that Python is waste or Java is waste like other, other trainers. Understand? Generally, if you go to any Python demo class, first, first day, they will say, but Java gone, Python coming market. And they will show some, uh, you know, some statistics. And they said, look at here, Java graph, Python graph is going up, Java graph coming down. That graph is projects development graph, huh? learning graph. Huh? Have you ever uh, checked the TIBCO or something they are showing? That is projects development graph, huh? learning graph. Huh? That is learning graph in Google searching graph. It is okay. People more are interested to learn Python because Python is also taking place in software industry in the projects development. Now you should realize one point as a trainer, you should not, you know, influence the students or not inject the wrong statement in the student's mind. It's very, very important. As a student, you should realize one thing. Without Java, there is no world. Pakka, 100%. And there is an animation also coming. Earlier, the same animation was there on Java.net. .NET, when came into market, two people are fighting with a knife, okay? Java fighting, .NET fighting, Java fighting, finally, .NET killing Java. Later, the same animation created for Java and Scala. Then Scala killing Java. Finally, Java Scala gone from the market now. Okay. And now the same animation created for Java and Python. Okay. And Python killing Java kind. Don't get influenced by seeing all these messages unnecessarily. Uh, now that you know all the people are now interested to learn Python because Java people also want to learn Python. New people also wanted to learn Python. And now Academics also people included Python, yes or no? In academics also we have Python course. Then because of people, all varieties of people wanted to learn Python. That's why it's a Python learning graph is increasing. That's it. Doesn't mean that Java got killed. Okay. Uh, now let me conclude one last point. Java and Python both are there in the market now. Okay. When Java is used, when Python is used, who should learn Java? Who should learn Python? Let us conclude it. Then you can take decision. You should go to Java side or you should go to Python side or you should be on both. Okay, now, right. I will, I, I'm expecting one conclusion from you after my discussion. All are you ready to give conclusion? Ready to participate or only wanted to listen? You wanted to participate or you want only listen? I'm a speaker, you are a listener. You want to become listener? Don't want to be a learner? Listener, learner, both are different. Learner means what? When faculties or trainer asking the questions, you ought to reply so that session will be more interactive and enjoy. Uh, whereas listener is what? Coming, listening for five minutes after the go to deep sleep. When the end of the session, hello, Babu, wake up, completed and going. Uh, come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. Try to respond. Now I'm giving you when Java used, 
when python is used okay and now you should decide you should learn both java and python or only java only python okay you have to come up with some conclusions are you ready with this conclusion and we'll schedule our course is it clear nana right now try to answer now. there are two types of applications are there in the market now how many types of applications two types this is not demo class maybe you are feeling the demo class you know nonsense talking in the class no this is part of java only the first day session is also part of our course okay so today i'm not talking any nonsense part of our course only please everyone try to involve today class is also very important class uh, there are in the market now there are two types of applications are running what are the two types of applications number one enterprise applications number two data science machine learning applications yeah machine learning artificial intelligence applications also as part of our data science only so i want to take only one word called our data science so in the market there are two types of applications are developing number one enterprise applications number two data science applications is it clear what is the meaning of enterprise applications what is the meaning of data science application you are developing one application to perform different operations of a company okay repeating again you are not developing one application you are developing one software to perform different operations of a company then we call that application that software as what enterprise application is it clear now for example i develop one software for buying selling and uh, for buying and selling the shares share market business application i develop then we call that application as what enterprise application everyone should reply only you are listening it's not good if you only want to listen i will go in another methodology i'm expecting the session to be interactive so that you will remember everything understand everything and you'll go do you do you are you a btech student btech how many btech students very good btech doing or completed whatever no problem btech come on come on doing or complete both btech okay how many mca 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 oh mba okay bsc bca okay super all category people are there uh, you are not bsc bcom ba bca btech mca mba okay you are lkg students first of all remove the thought from your mind i am btech hey tech i am bsc i am mca first remove the thought from your mind okay now you are all what lkg student which is student java lkg students ma come 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 java lkg students tell me in lkg class what you did a for apple b for bat mar inkendra problem ah huh? in lkg class to me you able to talk nicely na uh the problem no in lkg you don't have any shy feeling you don't have any fear you don't have anything teacher ask me something i will do it that's that is only thought you have but now what oh my god you are b tech now lazy fellows right because from the last 22 years you are only habituated listen 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 and teachers are saying pin drop silence listen what i said okay understand or not if you ask any written question what is your internal marks cut right so in my class there are no problems such that please try to respond please try to respond if you don't reply the new words you are getting you cannot remember you cannot understand i am trying to use some new words today okay new points i am giving today ready na right so tell me how many types of applications are developing in industry two types first one is what enterprise second one is what data science applications okay uh, now if you want to go to enterprise applications development side then you have to choose java if you want to go data science or machine learning or artificial intelligence applications development side you have to learn python fixed okay now now industry is running on two wheels number 1 enterprise applications java okay and next data science application python simple if you consider software industry is a one vehicle one bus okay na software industry is a one bus front two wheels are java python back two wheels are what enterprise and data science applications 
than a simple clarity. So I am not saying that learn Java or I am not saying that learn Python. I am not saying that that is waste, this is waste like other people. I'm clearly giving clarity to you guys what to learn, for what purpose you should learn. If your target is enterprise applications, then what you should learn? Java. If your target is a data science side applications development, then you should learn what? Python. Is it clear? Right. So I'm not writing anything on the screen, Mr. Uh, OnePlus. Okay, no? Right. I'm explaining. I'm explaining about Java world. Okay. The slide is what Java world is running now. Nothing screen. I'm not typing anything. So you also involve and reply everything you will understand. Clear my point? Right. Uh, now reply. Keep on talk along with me so that you will also feel something going on the screen. Uh, now, so first point is clear or not? How many types of applications? Two types. Enterprise applications and data science application. So enterprise applications to develop what we require? Java. Uh, web uh, Sorry, what do you call it? Uh, data science applications to develop what we require python that's it simple division okay now using java can't i develop uh, what you call uh, data science applications no using python can't we develop enterprise applications no are you following now, let me give clarity. I say, what is a enterprise, sir? What is data science? I have not explained it. Okay, just I'm giving the statements. Using Java, can I develop data science machine learning applications? No. Using Python, can I develop um, what do you call uh, uh, enterprise applications? No. Why? Why? Okay, let me first, let us get clarity. You know, Java is not their beginning. Okay, Python was their beginning. For the, for, from the 1989 to 1991 between python got developed java development started in 1990 and it developed and released in the market in 1995 so python is older than java then by the time java development started python was already there in the market what the target of what is the target of java or language development or what the target of james Cosling develop developing networking application <laughs> You know, web applications, networking application, enterprise applications, all are comes under same group. Okay, right. To develop these applications, the required concepts was not there in Python. Tell me, uh, I want to go five kilometers with a vehicle very fast. Can I use a cycle? No. What I required? Bike. Why bike required? Engine, which will run the wheels very fast. If I take cycle, I cannot push the pedal that much fast. Nah? Right. So to develop web applications, internet applications, enterprise application, we need some concepts. Those concepts were not there in Python. That's why some, my James Kosling decided, okay, my requirement my requirement required my requirement required facilities or features are not there with the python let me develop my own language that time python is there c was there c++ was there all these languages are not having the facilities or features required for you know enterprise applications or internet applications or business applications development features are not there understand my point right then what python is having python is having full-fledged mathematical functions a predefined full-fledged mathematical functions are there with this just those mathematical functions it is not possible for developing web applications or enterprise applications are you catching my point for example if you know in your btech or mca you have algebra rebabu if you talk again i will ask you get out from the class you are disturbing too much blue shirt okay now bhaiya if you have any problem, you can leave the class. Do you know, don't want to listen the class? Huh? Don't want to listen class? Huh? If you don't want to listen, you can leave. Don't disturb. Entire row you are disturbing. What is the problem? Tell me. If you have any problem, I'll help you. BTEK? BS here. BTEK, na? Adi problem. In colleges, you have that freedom, no? The same freedom you want in this classroom also, right? So come on, feel this is your classroom, okay? You came all the way traveling and come to specially to this class to learn something. Correct my point. So come out from that, you know, jolly mode, jovial mode, okay? Come to some seriousness. Show some seriousness to learn the subject, okay? Right. Please pay attention, okay? Na? Right. Otherwise, you can go to last chair, enjoy. No, no one will disturb you. Other people also will not disturb you. 
Okay, come on, guys. Uh, come on. Right? Uh, now tell me what the type of applications we have? Two types enterprise applications and data science. Uh, now, if you wanted to choose number of, you know, algebra is there, no? linear algebra, statistics are there. Uh, this algebra statistics kind of applications, if you want to develop, I need huge mathematical library. That mathematical library is supporting in Python. Is it clear my point? Then, now if you want to develop, a big business application, algebra not required, statistics not required, simple mathematics, addition of subtraction, multiplication or division sufficient. Are you following? Fifth class mathematics is sufficient for a developing big application. But what type of syntaxes we required? A hundred percent supporting to object oriented programming we require. Huge security is required. The security, full fledged object oriented programming support and networking connections, networking applications. Okay. And next, uh, uh, you know, database connections. And then next, what now? Server, server side connections, connection pooling. Like this, there are so many features are required. Those, those are all features. Full fledged support is not there in Python. That is where James Kosling has taken decision to develop a new language called what? Java. Okay, I'm going to give you full-fledged history of why Java developed and all. That is a different story. At this minute, because in Amir Pet, especially there is a fighting between Python Java, Python Java. So today class, quickly, I want to give you a small idea about where to use Java, where to use Python. Some idea I want to give. Okay, any of you have some idea on, you know, share market, share market, share market applications, anything you have used? Uh, if you open any share market application, you know, it is giving you a graph now, past graph, okay, past graph, you know, this many people are buying, this many people are selling, okay, predictions are giving now, okay, if you buy this uh, uh, stock based on the past data, okay, this much, uh, they, there is a chance of this much, you know, profits you may get, this much loss may get, risk and reward, okay, uh, now tell me how the application can decide based on the data, you know, this much reward may come, this much risk may be there, that calculation purpose we required what uh, mathematical library is required. Are you following? That mathematical libraries are not there in Java. That mathematical libraries were there in Python. Okay. First of all, if you wanted to develop that mathematical calculations, first of all, I have to collect the data now. I have to store the data in the database now, and I have to prepare that entire application, right? For example, now quickly, I want to give you an idea. No, look at here. Just I want to give an idea about, no, there is an app called what? Grow. What the app name? Grow. Okay, grow. Two, three examples I am taking, or I have to log in. Not required, okay. Here, uh, Jumato, your favorite. I'm taking Jumato. Uh, look at here. First of all, this application, whatever you are seeing, this is called data science application. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Is it called data science application or is it called uh, web, uh, web application or enterprise application? Huh? Everyone should answer. Some people are not answering. I, give, I told you two words. What is that? Enterprise application and data science application the grow app is data science application or enterprise application wrong answer this is enterprise application this is enterprise application this is web application or enterprise application this application first of all is what an application a data science application cannot be a regular individual application okay data science Data science based on some data, it is getting some science. Science means what? Intelligence. Okay. Uh, this app is what? Enterprise or web application. Point is clear. That means we are performing a business operation. We develop a software. We develop a software to perform one business operation of a company. Then we call it as what? enterprise or web application or enterprise application okay every application you are seeing is called a web or enterprise application point number one clear my point every project for example now i am taking flipcart.com okay tell me now everyone have no idea tell me this flipcart.com application is now enterprise application or web application i mean 
uh, web or web or enterprise. Okay, what is the meaning of web? What is the meaning of enterprise? I don't want to explain now. I'm giving a simple statement. What is that? I develop one software to perform an operation of a company business. Okay, to perform operation of a company business, I develop one project. Then the project or the software or the application is called what? Web or enterprise. Is it clear? Now, I have a question. Tell me, in your mobile, you have searched for some, here, here you are searching for some mobiles, okay? You search for some mobiles, let's say, you know, iPhone mobile, because you are very rich, no? Right? iPhone iPhone mobile, you are buying something, iPhone something. Uh, then you click on this iPhone, something you click. Okay. Tell me, once you close this Flipkart app in your mobile, later if you open any app you open, then the ads of iPhone running or not? Yes or no? Next. Now you take, now you take YouTube. All are you ready? Huh? Now open YouTube. Okay. Once you open YouTube, different, different videos will come. Don't get tension. Huh? Ah, okay. Ah, now, now tell me, YouTube is a data science application, huh? enterprise and web application. Huh? Come on. How much time you will take, man? YouTube is a business or not? What the business? Videos playing is a business. So now the videos playing business is developed by using what? One application called what? YouTube. Yes or no? Uh, tell me, this is a web or enterprise application. It is not a data science. Yes or no? Now, in this YouTube, you go to search box and search different, different videos. Okay. Today, you go and search for Java by Hare Krishna videos. Okay. Uh, then tell me, once you close the YouTube app today, tomorrow onwards, you open YouTube app, the all on home page, whose videos will come? My videos. Do you remember? Have you ever faced this problem? Right? It's not a problem, actually. It is a feature, na? Try to think now. How YouTube knows, oh, this customer want Hare Krishna videos to watch, more interest showing Hare Krishna videos to watch. Okay, if I show him these videos on the homepage, he'll be happy. How the YouTube application knows that, how the YouTube getting that intelligence, that intelligence application, background running application is called what? Data science application. Got clarity? Yeah? Everyone got clarity? Yeah? What you are seeing is what? Enterprise application. Background of enterprise application on data predictions are doing applications is called what? Data science or machine learning application. Is it clear now? Pakka? Tell me, now when you go after class today, when you go to Ameripet market, you will see pamphlets. Ah, new course starting, data science. Achha, background program development, ah, okay, understood. Will you get clarity or not? Today onwards, you have any confusion? When you see the pamphlet, data science, you know, full stack data science and AA. Oh, data analyzation, some predictions are doing. These students are belongs to that category, not my category, okay? I am belongs to enterprise application, right? Without me, you are not there. Get out. Yes or no? Without enterprise, where is data science here? Now, data science application, machine learning application, artificial intelligence applications are working on background of what? Uh, working on the data collected by these enterprise and web applications. So without data, data science applications will not work. Now, based on the data we collected, background, lot of mathematical libraries required, lot of mathematical calculations we required to do. Those huge number of mathematical libraries was there in Python. That's why people are started using Python from 2018 onwards. Before 2018, actually 2013-14 onwards, the trend got started. 2013-14 onwards, this data science application trend got started. 2018 onwards, full-fledged came into the market. Then there onwards, Python slowly in India also introduced in the colleges, okay, as a subject. Before that, Python was not there. Asal Python is a bachas language, you know. In a foreign countries, Python, they will learn at the age of six, six, uh, you know, sixth class stand, sixth standard students are learning Python. You BTEC students are now coming to Amir Pay to learn Python. What a shameful, right? <laughs> okay, no problem. I'm not going that much detail. Sorry. Right. So now hope you got clarity on. Now finally, without Java, now tell me, realize now, Python there, 
if python is really that much powerful from the day beginning then why people are not using python directly why people have introduced java if python is that much capable of killing java then why python not using from the beginning now you should see clarity it's all business baba okay it's all business anything new concept coming into market we will we will show it as what will project is a great concept it's a wonderful concept all existing tumre this is wonderful come on come on then we will collect more money from your from your pocket that is a business obviously you have to accept okay na right I, last batch i gave one example people have connected telugu people know gopala gopala movie in gopala gopala movie okay uh, gopala baba new baba came for more business you know right right so like that now the python baba came into market that's it nothing more okay now java baba already earned money completed now python baba came for marketing you know for fighting so you don't be come on to that trap that's what my my worry all the students are going in the trap of what a job python there in the market java not there in the market so should learn java now should learn python so final conclusion are you ready to tell tell me can you can you see java and python separately now think and tell me can you see java and python separately now it's not possible python is a part of java best example all python trainers are java trainers simple go and ask sir before python which language you taught java nana right and why you come to python on python there in the market and java killed and you stop teaching that's why java gone from the market what a nonsense statements your people are giving okay java impossible to remove okay na now every java application every dot net application every php application background what is there python is there now you decide just learning java sufficient or not you got a job now suppose you got job in amazon flipkart mintra these companies you got one product based company you got the job you got job on java but once you got job now you are going there working only java front end screens what you are doing no background applications also data analyzation applications you have to develop some scripts you have to write those scripts you develop by using which language python can you say oh get out ra i am java developer python i don't write can you say like that no uh, so now you now you decide once you learn java learning python is easier tougher damn easy how much easy you know look at here look at here i just want to give confidence baba let's just look at here come to here now this is our java application no you learn this much full fledged syntax program how to write python ante very simple look at here copy this much bujji statement okay copy come here paste wow python completed are catch my point that much here yeah, python over tell me do you need to learn python again separately not required that's what i'm saying uh, look at here look at here now i want to develop one more java application called what addition your favorite program was okay adding two numbers how to write adding two numbers in maths what you written go back to your childhood lkg ukg a equal to 10 uttana b equal to uh, 20 uh, c equal to a plus b a plus b okay if it is a java you should add uh, you know two tails okay front to back you add here int int okay int and uh, last you add what semicolon 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 wow uh, java program completed tell me java you take python you take dot net you take any programming language you take everywhere you want to perform what mathematical operations only this is these three lines line number five to line number seven what is this mathematics now language to language mathematics is changing what is changing the covering part of the covering party changing that's all so if you take java program the covering part is what class who may know these are coming if you take c program file new c program is like this what you write in c program same statements copy paste python c program ready so tell me now one language to another language what is changing syntaxes are changing the program structure and the syntaxes are changing array telugu hindi english in english we call mango in hindi we call am um, in telugu we call mamidi pandu right huh? so tell me object is same or not 
the word is what changing same thing also baba programming languages means what same uh, now look at here now here this is the math calculation this math calculations you write in classroom main method java uh, you write inside directly main method where you write directly in the main method you write directly that is what see uh, python you want very interesting python is very simple paste directly why no int no semicolon i pen print of c wow python very easy does it mean java tough error enter java tough very java tough right? so for learning these extra two lines java tough are you catching my point or not so i am learning these extra two lines also python is dead easy to me and what i should do python to java simply i should extract the logic part extract the mathematical part and place it directly so why python directly allowing me to place because python is supporting scripting language this is what syntax huh? scripting syntax if you want to follow java style object oriented syntax what you write here also you should write what class addition colon a uh, next word def main def main colon okay colon and you have to write all the three statements here this is the complete program same java python object oriented style number of lines will be same the only difference is that is following what object style it is following what scripting style so tell me now python is easier tougher easy java easier tougher only easier more easy very very easy okay if you know lkg ukg math java just two extra lines you need to write paste the statement that's it clear my point tell me if you learn python can you come to java side possible or no because extra syntax is who will learn yes or no if you learn java syntax java full phrase can i go to python yes because just java whatever written same thing i am writing with in place of open bracket you are writing what colon that's all Uh, so tell me rabai if anybody come to you and say arre mama java very tough ra then what he say arre bachcha i know ra don't worry come aaja bachcha aaja okay na right python students are what lkg we are scholars we are btech students okay so realize very very important don't be go under the trap of python java confusions hope i gave you clarity on i will explain you what is enterprise application what is data science application machine learning that clarity i will give you with the definitions in tomorrow class today class target is what giving you clarity on what is happening in amir pet and happening in websites in you know, what you know social media in social media too much buzz there on python java side python killing java python killing java that is a trap don't be go under the trap and uh, now let me try to ask a question now you are in java world yes or no happily confidently came to java world now now if you learn java now can you go any other programming language easily yes because java is a 100% object oriented i mean to say 100% full fledged syntax based programming language following object oriented programming style once you learn object oriented programming style any programming you can learn easily now another thing is happening in the market any new technology coming into market any new tool coming into market any so new software coming into market it is developed on top of object oriented style only because already you know java object oriented style the new technology is easy for you to learn or not yes is it clear nana right uh, then now the next question i am asking just learning java is it sufficient in this competitive world tell me in your academics you have only one speaking language or three speaking languages in our india especially we have if you go to foreign countries only one that their native language but if you come to india our education system is very strong aslab you know being a indian i can go and work anywhere in this world because our education system is that much strong we were teaching number 1 regional language our mother tongue number 2 national language hindi number 3 international language english and number 4 core subjects in uh, what you call math science social with this uh, six subjects we can survive anywhere in this world happily that's what our indian education system is that much strong 
but we made it you know west openly talking okay our old people designed our education system is very strong but we are not implementing that much practical oriented because slowly slowly people are becoming lazy na not teaching well lot of problems are there let's not go to that details uh, come back na uh, now tell me now like how in your academics you learn three speaking language to become strong when you want to come to the software industry software industry also having languages learning just one language will it good or bad bad you have to learn minimum two languages when our zamana was there we learned two languages means when we are trying as a job then now we are learning two languages three languages c c++ java with the three languages we are trying to get the job ah uh, now for your generation you must learn compulsory two languages number 1 java number 2 python no faculty is telling this statement only i am telling all faculty is certainly hey java can don't learn only python asla namaskara no adiga as only with python you know getting job is very tough brother i'm telling you getting job on python is very very difficult show me one institute 100% job guarantee showing on python everybody promoting a java kill python there java kill python there every day one or two people are calling me for the java openings i am referring to naresh it that companies my old students are there na uh, tell me do you have any institute offering 100% job guaranteed on python no very rare one or two only that two per month or two months once or three months once one company will come are getting job on python very difficult and moreover you btech students please try to realize mathematical strong knowledge you must be have you know linear algebra statistics that mathematics area if you are strong then only go to python like me you are very weak in math please come to java you know java how much math required no addition subtraction enough 5 plus 6 how much abba you are experts in java okay <laughs> really okay addition subtractions if you know you can easily get job maybe my statement some people may be contradict but really true i am saying getting job in java surviving in java getting more package in java is very easy as a fresher or as an experienced person getting job in java is very easy and lot of support is there on java lot of you know websites are there blogs are there community is there to survive in java field python field is now growing now growing so my interest my request to the students is learn java with python what is my statement what is my slogan make a make a combo package okay learn java be master in java and get awareness on python in resume you put both java and python so that you are ready to develop full fledged business application yes and background if the data analyzation code if you want to develop using python scripts you can develop the code also yes now tell me there is a trend going in the market what is that full stack full stack full stack okay na brother started again talking em pichira me kapichi you are in classroom ra bhai why you are missing that conscious why you disturbing others ha ah, come on so now what is the point full stack have you heard the word called full stack na full stack means in a project now i am entering into the new topic what is that full stack first what i explain types of applications how many are there two enterprise applications data science application what applications you are seeing enterprise background of enterprise what applications are running data science applications okay enterprise applications are collecting the data from the user and storing in database and then now based on the search data uh, now the data science application or machine, machine learning applications are doing analyzation and generating some reports to you okay let me ask one more question okay uh, my my brother my brother son is working on one project in his college the project is cancer deduction software okay now they are inventing one electronic device in that electronic is one software is there once that electronic device is fixed to your hand it will tell in near future is there any chance will get cancer or not following and uh, tell me now that software is enterprise application software uh, or data science application software bangar kondal rani wonderful 
सो टुडे क्लास माई एफर्ट्स आर फिलफिल ओके ना सक्सेस आई सक्सेस सक्सीड टेल मी यू ओनली टेलिंग ना डेटा साइंस एप्लीकेशन हाउ हाउ आर यू टेलिंग इज बिफोर दिस क्लास यू हैव एनी नॉलेज नो राइट because you fully focused in the class and understood everything now you able to come to a decision that's what i'm saying make the class as interactive when the class is interactive everything will come to your brain did i give single word in the notes no then how did you understand your how you this how you guess yourself uh that machine connecting to your body it is analyzing your body blood pressure and then deciding oh babu based on this blood pleasure if there is a chance you'll get cancer okay na please get the treat take the treatment early early detection uh, so data science and machine learning applications are a kind of applications which is which are meant for analyzing data and generating reports okay na buddy right he is now he is learn which language python he is working in which side python if you want to go that kind of applications development side then go and learn python Uh, python is very easy or very tough uh, same difficulty is there in every language sir telugu telugu is easy hindi is easy english is easy and everything has a difficult everything is easy easy how much effort you are putting is different okay so my request is learn java thoroughly master java and have awareness on python are you catching my point morning 9 am batch i started java python combo 9 am batch students recently you know 15 days back i started new batch okay those batch students has decided to learn java and python combo both are you also interested what i am teaching them okay today i install jdk software full fledged all points about java software i explain at last 10 minutes i am spending how to install python over okay na then i taught how to develop edition program in java full fledged then at last 10 minutes of the day i am teaching how to write the same program in python we don't want to be master in python we want to get what awareness anas oh uh, no sir i want strong in python sir then go and join python course are you following my point so now welcome to java world uh, now tell me are you happy now in this java world being a java product can you be a full fledged software engineer yes okay i'll explain you full stack java later because it's already 7:15 i want to give conclusion now Uh, now let me ask a question course details so today i want to give conclusion today class target is only three points i want to give conclusion number 1 why you came here for learning java on whose suggestion you yourself decided to learn java or your friend decided and you forced her. okay na if you decided so you wonderful actually you taken a wonderful decision in your life if your friend is forced you to i mean your friend forced or suggested to learn java after today class give him a big party because he gave you best suggestion in his life hope you got conclusion by this time that is the first point i want and the second point i i mean first i want to say learning java decision is what ultimate decision best decision second if i learn java is it easy for me to get job okay very easily you will get the job as a fresher within 6 months we'll get the job that assurance i can give okay na as a fresher means 2022 2023 2221 these three years people are considered as a freshers 21 22 23 ah uh, before 21 20 19 18 these people passed out are considered as experienced people sir i didn't work in any company sir how can i consider as a experienced person god gift experience okay okay this is god gift experience is called what fake experience okay now this how can we get job sir this all open secrets okay everybody knows that you learn java up to experienced programmer level knowledge now my course is covering syllabus minimum 3 plus years of experienced programmer knowledge and 0 to 3 plus by the time my core java course completed your knowledge is equal to 3 plus years of working employee knowledge you will give that much competition day by day day by day you will understand that today only experienced one thing you go and ask your friends working in a company are what is the difference between enterprise application data science application that is enterprise ra it is data science ra okay 
Okay, there, there's not that much clarity. Now you got clarity up to equal to working employee. Examples also you got, clarity also you got. That much level I am going to teach. Start from zero up to the project level, I'll teach. Understand my point? Uh, so first point is what? Choosing Java, good decision. Wonderful decision you have taken. Second, is it easy for me to get job as a Java developer with a Java platform? Very easy. As a fresher, you can get job within six months. As an experienced person, it takes one year. Ah, I thought you'll go to Python. If you go to Python, it takes two years. As a fresher, you will get job with one year. As a Python fresher, you will get job after one year. And as an experienced person, if you want to get job in Python, minimum one year, maximum, no guarantee. But as a Java side, I can say, I can assure that as a fresher within, if you follow my plan, uh, sir, after six months, if you come and ask me, you said you assured that I know Java job will get after six months, still I didn't get. If you don't follow my plan, you will not get job within six months. If you follow my plan, Pakka, within six months, as a fresher, you will get the job. If you follow my plan, within one year, you will get the job as an experienced person. Why one year? I'll explain everything in detail, step by step. Okay. That's the second point. Assurance. Okay. Getting job is easy or not. Third point. Are, there is a lot of confusion in the market. Java, na, Python. Na. What? Where I should go? I will say what? Java, Python, both. Not only Java, not only Python. Java, Python. If you join Python course, master Python, get awareness on core Java. If you join Java, master Java, get awareness on Python. Both you have to include in your resume because nowadays the story is not Java developers, story is not Python developers, story is not JavaScript developers, front end developers. We have only one word. What is that? Full stack developer. Front end, middleware, back end, everything you only should write the program. If you want to write all the three, you should have awareness on minimum two languages. Okay, Java and Python, two languages, knowledge you require. Is it clear, Nana? Right. And then now the fourth conclusion point I want course details. Now tell me what the name of the course. Can you all confirm now? What is our Java? Core Java. Tell me. Our course is Java, na? Core Java. Na? Java different to core Java different huh? are both same. Huh? That is tomorrow class. Okay, na? so tomorrow I'm launching Java introduction. Okay, as part of tomorrow class, I'm going to tell you what is actually Java is core Java Java both are same. Many people are feeling both are same. No, Java is different core Java different. Okay, right core Java with uh, core Java and Python. What is our course? Core Java and Python. Okay, let me ask another question. Ready? Yeah? You have to reply. Okay. Tell me why you are learning Java. Now, come on here. Why you are learning Java? No answer. Huh? Okay. Let me give two options. Okay. I'll give two options. Quickly answer two options. Okay. You are learning Java for what purpose? Okay. This one I'll tell. Okay. Let me directly ask a question. Number one, for completing course. Number two, for getting job. Brother, come on. For completing course, for getting job, really? Pakka? Okay. Now tell me. After getting job, after getting job, after getting job, what will you do in company? Teach Java, develop projects. Hey, teach Java, no? Are you going to company for teaching Java? No, no. For developing projects. Then tell me. Are if you just learn Java or if you just learn Python, you will come to know a small definition. What is encapsulation? How to write an encapsulation based program. What is inheritance? How to write a small inheritance based program. What the use of it? Is my question understand or not? What the use of it, Rabbi? You have to learn every topic connecting to what project? Yes or no? For example, you learn data types. How these data types are used for a developing project? You learn encapsulation, you learn inheritance, you learn polymorphism, you learn abstraction, you learn exception handling, you learn string handling, you learn multi-threading, you learn collections. Where these concepts are used in my project? Hey, that you learn in advanced Java. Advanced our faculty will tell, you will learn in spring. Spring faculty will tell, you will learn in project development. Uh, project development faculty, will learn, you learn in company. Finally, in the company, you will cry. Are you catching my point? Right. So 
just learning core java and python is it sufficient or not sufficient not sufficient we should also learn what project development so our course is this are you interested this is a hundred percent syllabus course like java hundred percent syntax this is what hundred percent syllabus course is what core java and python with project development from where to where from zero to hero okay zero to hero level hero and a hero in also okay okay zero to project level so this is what my interest of teaching you know you came to naresh it for learning only core java brother yes or no in counseling maybe back, i mean counselor told core java new batch is starting from so and so dates and this time this is the duration and all but now i am adding some mashala are you ready with the for a taste core java is only chicken curry no taste okay mashala i want to add what the first mashala python and second one is what with project development okay right i am interested with this because i want my target is my target is target of this course is making you making you software engineers let me write shortcut huh. making you software engineers i don't want you make you as a student oh, i also know java can you develop project kitchen no i know only java i don't want i want to say yeah give me any time any task i'm ready to develop the project so i want you become software engineer that's why you have to learn what project development okay then what is the duration of the course okay and tell me what the duration uh maybe maybe in the counseling they told about 45 days right and tell me 45 days do you feel it sufficient come on you decide if you want me to cover this in just 45 days i can teach you only core java definition small program then you'll become just a java student useless again you have to search for somebody to teach more depth you want again and again to study no one time lifetime you have to study yes or no one time you study that knowledge should be used for lifetime so that's why just 45 days is not sufficient i need more 45 days can you give me more 45 days are you busy in your life you know in 45 days i should get job otherwise you know family problems any family problems no right ah uh, 45 days for core java remaining 45 days for what project development okay na and uh, you know python along with the core java and project development we will learn we don't need of any extra time for python so just i want you know 3 months duration of this course is what 3 months not a 90 days 90 days okay plus or minus okay plus maybe some 10 days century okay na so maximum 100 days i will complete the course 100% pakka okay next now what is the fees of this course uh, come on come on uh, now i am giving you additional knowledge python 4000 python is what 4000 and ameripet market right and then next project development again 4000 8000 plus uh, 2500 what totally 10000 so fees is what 10000 ready yeah no hey why silence come on ready or not ready not ready abba you want free of cost or complete knowledge ha huh? okay don't worry this is my interest naresh it charging 2500 okay rupees not dollars rabo okay all right 2500 inr rupees okay i am not charging anything extra i am charging extra time okay 45 days naresh it asking for 45 days training naresh it charging what 2500 this extra 45 days training i am giving free of cost is it clear it's my interest it's not naresh it interest okay ha ah. then plus this 10 days we are spending for this python knowledge and i am not going to teach python you know half syllabus just like that i will make sure the python knowledge you are getting equal to the regular course okay now full fledged knowledge i am going to give you don't worry now ah, now so the same fees i am giving i am taking i am not taking extra 1 rupee also don't worry the next duration fee and uh, next what the prerequisites uh, now tell me do you have any prerequisites to learn this course 
Okay, now prerequisites to learn this course. Uh, now I have a question. Generally, people who are coming from uh, IT industry, people are, I mean, uh, people are coming from, you know, IT background. These people are saying what? Uh, uh, C, C++ required. Many people are having a bad wrong thought to learn Java. C, C++ is required. Really required? Uh, now I have asked, a, I asked the question to the people who are feeling that C is the prerequisite to learn Java. Then before C, which language you learn? B language. Before B, which language? A language. Before A, B, B, language. Before your native language, which language you learn? No language. When you can learn your native language, Telugu, Hindi, Vadiya, Marathi directly. When you can learn C language directly, why can't you learn Java directly? Is my question understand? You can learn Java directly. But in my college, my faculty for, uh, forced me to learn C first, sir. Because that is syllabus order of your college. And that is the order your faculty learn. But now, here, there are no prerequisites. You can directly start Java as your first language. Are you following my point? There are no prerequisites. You can start Java as your first language. If you learn Java as your first language, then there are no confusions in your mind. People who know already C or some other language, they will always comparing C with Java, C with Java, and they are not traveling with me. People who are coming from non-IT background, they are getting job immediately. Electronics department, electrical department, civil. These people are getting job very fast than IT department. Did. 11 o'clock batch, course is not completed. More 15, 20 days course is there. He got the job with 6.5 lakh per annum. He is from electrical department. Okay, so that much fast people are getting job. Okay, I'll bring him one day to your class for motivating you. Okay, I'll ask him to join online and he will speak online so that you can listen. So now there are no prerequisites to learn Java from my class. You can learn Java, you know, from my class directly. Hope you got some idea on course details what I'm teaching now. Right, did you get clarity on difference between Java and Python? Where Java using, where Python is using? Can Python kill Java? No, Python feel is different. Java field is different. <laughs> Tell me, is Python faculty can kill me? No, because I am Python faculty and Java faculty. My path is different, his path is different. He cannot kill me, I cannot kill him. Both are different path. And it's kind of railway track, no. One track can disturb other track, no. Train has to go software industry projects. Now the two tracks are required. Both tracks you have to have clarity. Master one track, other track automatically you will understand. Clear my point? Right. So this is what today class agenda, okay, giving you idea on what I am teaching, what I my target of this course making you and what the duration and what is the fees. Is it clear to all? Right. Hope you got some idea today. Did you learn anything today? No, nothing. Today, our target is first class learning difference between Java and Python. Second, types of applications, enterprise applications and data science. Enterprise application is the main application of the project or main application of the project uh, that is doing the business operations, giving the access to the business operations to the client. That application is called what? Enterprise. Background of this enterprise application based on the end user given data, Analyze it. data analyzation is doing and results or reports are generating is called what data science. So enterprise application developed by using Java background data science machine learning applications are developing by using Python. Is it clear? Right. And then our course is both Java and Python. Right. And then other details I'm going to give you in tomorrow class. It's all a time of 730. Other best students are waiting. Clear my point. So tomorrow class will be at six sharp six. Understand my point. Right, you have to be in the class by sharp six. Don't come by 610, 65, 615 like that. I'll start the class by sharp six o'clock. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed today's class. Yeah, tomorrow I hope voice will be more good. Okay. Online students, I will answer your questions tomorrow, buddy. Okay, now. Hope maximum questions are answered today. One or two questions are remaining. No problem. I will answer tomorrow. Tomorrow I will answer all your remaining questions because other students are waiting. Girls, please wait. Let boys go first. Java 19. Manishi Sarma, Java 19, 19.
yeah java job assurance will be there for both online offline students thank you guys see you all tomorrow at same time 6 o'clock please join the class 6 o'clock sharp thank you please return paper already left right? I'll give you tomorrow all the plan, okay?